wow, today feel freaking good outside. Like, you guys can't feel it, but if you could, it feel good. But yours, yeah, Poppin' Playboys, welcome back to another video. And for all the new subscribers, what's up? What's poppin'? My name's Sean. Welcome to the channel. You guys get to look at this beautiful thing all day. In today's video, we're gonna be installing these beautiful social performance headlights. These are gonna look so fire on Dusty. And it's not that hard to install. It's literally like a couple steps. You gotta take out the front bumper, take out the headlights, and just throw these in. And uh, if you guys didn't see the last video when I went to go pick these up, definitely go check it out. I'll put the link right here. That's when I went to go drive the Z3 Swap 9th Gen, and boy, oh boy, that car felt amazing. Alright, so what I gotta do, I have to pop off the bumper. And basically to do that, there's gonna be a screw right here. You see how see how it has like a little groove inside? Like right there is the screw. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, you unscrew that, do that to the other side of the vehicle, or other side of the bumper, and then underneath uh, uh, underneath there's a whole bunch of tabs. I think you're only supposed to take off like four. So like the ones in the back, I'm pretty guessing is the ones that you're supposed to take off. And uh, I'm pretty sure this one too right here. But yeah, man. I'll show you guys more when I actually take it off so I can really tell you guys what's the clips and stuff like that. But right now I'm just gonna do it real quick because it should be simple and easy. But first thing I'm gonna do, because I definitely need to do this. Because I don't think I got enough space under there to fit a screwdriver. But uh, what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna not jack up the car, but I'm gonna put on some blocks. And hopefully just that little, probably two inches, probably four inches, I don't know how much inches that is right now. But hopefully that just gives me enough space where I can have some type of, some type of, some type of freedom down there. Cause it's crazy. All right guys, so these were the four clips I was talking about. Sadly, I dared tear one off and like completely destroyed it but at least three of them are still reusable yeah, i'm gonna show you guys where they are so when you guys do this or if you guys ever need to take off your bumper you guys can figure out where it's at so the ones i took out are these so there's one here there's gonna be one here damn you guys can't even see that oh yeah you can so there's gonna be one here there's one here and it just goes down the line and it's four and also you're gonna have to take out this one right here that's by this and the same thing on the other side these are actually tens. They're not uh, one of these. They're uh, where is it? I just had it out. They're actually these. So yeah, these are a ten. And now, since I already took those out, this is a screw I'm talking about. Now you guys can definitely see that. But yeah, you guys gotta take that out. And then after, I'll show you guys how to pop off the bumper. And it's pretty easy. So as you guys see in the last clip, what I did, I literally put my fingers behind here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna move the fender liner, put your fingers behind there, all four fingers, get it like to your palm and pull up. And then once you pull up, you're gonna smack it like that, like you smacked on the booty, like that, yes sir. And then uh, it's gonna pop, do it to both sides. As you guys can see, I already did it. Now what I have to do now is, I forgot about this step, I have to take these off too because they're all connected to the bumper well the grill and the grill's connected to the bumper i think yeah 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 that makes sense that makes sense man that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna take off take off those and uh hopefully the bumper comes off Bumper's off. This is basically all I needed to do. It looks so cool. I see why people take out the bumper and then take a picture. It looks fire. But as you guys can see, there goes a little fog like duck I made. It goes up into the intake. Well, right now it's out, but that goes all the way up to the intake. And it's pretty, it's pretty useful. 
But now I get to put back my fog light. And uh, that won't be the only fog light on anymore. But boy, oh boy. I never seen my car like this. This is kind of cool. Actually, this is really cool. Wow. All right, guys. So now you guys can see exactly what you have to take off. So you can see is this one, this one, that one, that one, that one. And obviously the one on the other side. And uh, yeah, that should be all. Everything else, just leave it in. Then you pop off the two sides, take off the two screws, and there you go, man. Looking crazy. And now for the headlight, it's real simple. One ten right here, the other ten right here, and uh, the other ten. I don't even know if I can show you guys with the camera. Probably could show you guys this one. The other ten is. Come on, where was it? Where was it? Oh, there it go. Right here. Come on, show it. Right there. I know you guys see it hiding. It's right there. So once you pop those off, you'll be able to move the headlights. Obviously, you take out your uh, your bulbs and stuff before you pull any wires that you don't want to mess up. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to be swapping everything from that headlight to that one. And also from that headlight to this one. Because the passenger headlight didn't need to change. It just looks way cleaner. This one looks way cleaner. They don't want to have in my car. That one needs some love. This one, this one already has some love. All right, guys. Headlights out. Now, what you want to do? You want to take these off. Should be just one. Yeah, so you just wanna take this off. I think you have to push this side in so it can come out. And then I'm just gonna mount these on the new ones over there. And uh, slide them both back back, all the way back in. And uh, you know what time it is. That means your boy did it, let's go. All right guys, so part is on now. Now simple install. Just make sure you don't scratch your paint. because. These are kind of sharp and they will put a little scratch on your paint. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move up my headlights, well, my LEDs, and these, and then sit, sit this intake, not intake, sit this, like that. The whole little thing you gotta do to get this bad boy in. All right guys, so I got it in. It was a little difficult getting it in because like you have to do like a lot of movements with the headlight. And uh, I really don't like to scratch my paint, so I was making sure I was taking precaution and going slow and seeing how it could fit without, you know, me just hitting something. So it's in now. This is without any bolts, so you guys can see it's real flush. All right, so now I'm gonna put the bolts in. And then this should seal the deal. All right, guys, so headlights in. Look how fire it looks. Damn! That looks really, really good. And it's perfect. It goes straight to the intake. And if I want to run a VSTAC, I just need to get a, a 90 degree coupler. And uh, yeah, man, VSTAC from the headlight. Not the getaway. This looks crazy. You guys enjoyed that little cinematic if you guys notice i am wearing a different shirt because this is the day after well i feel like i'm so close but yeah this is the day after the car is pretty much done the headlights in and it's looking great bro it looks so dang good like oh my goodness this looks so fire the next thing for the car is getting some new badges because as you guys can see these are destroyed i'm actually going to buy some real ones this time so I can stop buying these fake ones that last like a year or two and then just looks like that after. But yeah, bro, look at her. Look at Dusty. Dusty got an eye patch. Ooh, a carbon fiber eye patch to be that. Damn, that thing look good, boy. Sheesh. But this is where I'm at off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Especially leave a like if you like the headlight. But yeah, man, follow me on Instagram. My underscore got the soda. The boy's out. Peace.